Do you know you can be caught for using loops? And you also know your beat can be monitored by the owner of the loops. But still, you have been wondering why still the mainstream producers have been using the same loops without being caught. Yeah, this is a big question. But don't worry, I'll show you how to use loops in your project without being caught and also make it your own. Just stay with me. Let's go. Rap Plus, turn the volume up. Hello my YouTube friends, welcome I'm Raklos Beats and today we are going to learn a lot about loops, how to use loops in your beats. You know loops are just already played samples that are putting out in the market so every producer can use a loop but there is a way you can use it for your loop to sound different from others. Using loops in your beat doesn't make you a lazy producer most 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 professional producers use loops a lot that's why we have splice producer source we have a lot of loops website that provide us with loops so many professionals many 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 professional producers use loops just that they know how to use the loops well and they know how to use the loops correctly so if you are a, a friend or a friend producer have been using loops and you said he is a lazy producer no he isn't but using loops makes you creative just be creative with the loops you have that's it so let's get into it we are going to make afro beats instrumentals using only loops from drums to melodies to bass everything will be loops so let's get into it so now i have my drum loop here this is my drum loop Let's listen to it. Yeah, so this is my drum loop. And I'm going to find a melody for it, which is also a loop. So, let me find this one. You see, this loop has its stems attached to it. We have the main. The melodic and the pop that is the vocal sample but take note i won't use all the stems in the beats because maybe someone else have used the whole loop in his project so if i use the same thing it will sound different and i will also be caught so i will use the main guitar only the main guitar in this loop so let me drag it and sometimes some loops are not well stretched to the tempo so you have to stretch it yourself the timing you set it so that it will fit in the project you are working on and set this to stretch so let's listen to this one Yeah, so we have this as our loop now we can use this one the same vocal pop to sweeten it but we will use different loops we will use different loop so that we can start our beats we can make our beats a little bit different and also this is a, in the key of f major so f major i would like to bring it to the key of maybe f sharp so that it will sound different so moving from f major to f sharp you move one octave so i'll move one octave so let's listen it in the f sharp as you can see the guitar the tone of the guitar has changed first it was this And we have changed it to this. Yeah, so we are playing everything in F sharp major. Okay, so this beat, I feel we should add a different vocal chops to it. So this loop has its own vocal chop, but I won't use it. I'll use different vocal chop 
to make the beat sound different. So I'll use my Afrobeat vocal suites. You can find the link in my channel. So let me use this one. This is in F sharp major. I'll switch it here. Let's listen to it. Okay, this one is good, but I think we have to chop it. We won't use the full uh, vocal loops now. Nah, we won't use it. So I will chop it. I prefer this part. Okay, and here, I prefer here. So let's listen to this one and only this. I'll add this one here. So I'll add this one here. As you can see, I'm chopping the vocal loops so that it will sound different. Okay. Okay, so let's use this one. And I would like to add saxophone to this one. Also, I will use loop as my saxophone. So, plenty loops here. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay, let me use my cast loop. This one is in the key of E, but I'm playing my beat in F sharp major. So, I have to transpose the saxophone key to the beat, the, the project I'm working on. So from E to F sharp, I think it's two, two, two plus octave. So E, F, F sharp. So I'll move two octave. Let me find. Let me see. Okay. So I'll stretch it to the, I'll stretch it to the tempo of the beats, and I'll move the two two octave so let's listen to it either it will make sense here <laughs> there is try and error so just stay with me and let's work together Okay, so I feel like we should chop the saxophone too because some some part of the saxophone doesn't fit the key. So I prefer these parts. Okay, so I'll only use this part of the saxophone. This is just for demonstration purpose. I'm not creating a full beat here, so yeah. So let's listen to it with the drums and everything. I feel like this space, this place is empty. This place empty. So I'll use the tile loop, any guitar loop to fill that place. So I'll search in my loops either I can get any guitar 
you, you as you can see how I'm building the beat here. Yeah, I'm using only loops, but you can see how interesting the beat is right now. Yeah, I, I I'm being transposing the keys and also yeah changing the pitch of it. So let's find any guitar sample. Let me see. <laughs> let me check this one remember we are doing our try and error thing here if it fits fine if it doesn't too we move on <laughs> okay <laughs> Please just stay with me, yeah. So as you can hear, only this part, this part fits in the beat. So you find a place to put it, yeah. Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah, so let's listen to that place again. You can hear that? Yeah, so you can use like the loops are there for you. Just be creative with it. You can use them anyhow you want it. So let me find any lead loop. Yeah, lead loop. Any lead loop. Okay, let me try this one. This is in D minor. And D minor is the same as F major. I know those who, who are into keyboard knows this one. The minor and the major keys. Yeah. The D minor is also the same as F major. So, to, to get to F sharp major, we have to move one octave. Yeah, which will be D sharp major, which is the same as F sharp major. Okay, don't confuse yourself here, please. Just stay with me. Okay, so let's listen to this one. Okay, so I will chop this one too. Everything is about chopping, chopping, chopping. Yeah, you must, you must be creative. I can play a full beat with loops. Trust me. You like, you won't even catch me. You won't even notice that I played loops. Okay, so let me chop this part and cut out here. As you can hear it sounds good so the thing you must what you must learn from this is transposing that is transposing from one key to the other and chopping that is the basic thing you must know if you want to use loops learn how to pitch from one key to the other because you may not use the same key if you use the same key you can be caught yeah you can be caught someone will notice that you use loops in this production make some client who don't like you to use loops for them yeah they want everything to be played by hand though you can do that it's cool but if you want to be more creative your sound if you want your sound to be more dynamic just use loops and go 
Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorials. Please, if you didn't understand anything, just feel free. I will leave my contacts under the description. Feel free to message me. I'll reply you. And you know, I have a lot of loops in on my channel. Yeah, just subscribe and enjoy free loops. And remember, my premium loops too is coming. Yeah, a lot of loops. I have a lot of loops. I'll bring on board both free and premium. So just subscribe and enjoy. Thank you for watching.